Hello YouTube, this is Captain Ball again on this beautiful Hungarian freezing January morning. The temperature is around mi minus 9 or 10 degrees, so it is a freezing day. It's an excellent day for shooting. And I have a real specialty for you today. Check out this beauty. Well, have you seen something like this? Well, this is from the beginning, the very beginning of the history of the flintlock hunting rifles. Let's see the story of this little lady and let's see what it can do on the range today. This short flintlock rifle was born somewhere in South Germany or Austria in the middle of the 18th century. These large caliber rifles, with barrels not longer than the barrel of a pistol, were designed with the mounted hunter in mind. One of the most popular hunting methods of the 17th and 18th century was the par force jagd. During these hunts, the game was chased by dogs and hunters for hours until it was completely exhausted. When the hunters reached the stopped game, it was easy to kill it from a close distance with firearms or with cold weapons. When later individual hunting became more popular, the hunters needed a firearm that was easy to handle on horseback, but had the short range accuracy and the killing power of the longer hunting rifles. These were the days of the short rifle or Stutz of the early 18th century. The luck of this rifle is quite advanced. The lock has a waterproof pen with two rain channels and the frizen has a roller for a fast ignition. The stock has a traditional German style wooden patch box for holding patches, spare flints or tools for cleaning the rifle. The double set trigger helps to have a light trigger pull and it functions perfectly even today. The rifle is equipped with a leaf rear sight adjustable for two distances and a bright brass front sight. The length of the barrel is only 32.5 cm or 12.8 inches. As you may see, it is a swan barrel, meaning that the diameter of the octagonal bore is smaller in the middle than at the muzzle or at the breech. The rifling is quite special with 8 large and 8 smaller grooves. These grooves were cut one by one and they create a unique look to the bore. The grooves are deep and the lens are rounded, showing that it was designed for a patched round ball. The land to land diameter of the bore is about 15.7 mm and the only mold I had close to this caliber was an old iron mold casting a very rough 15.8 mm ball. I had to shake them in a metal box for a long time to reduce the size, still they were very far from what I call accurate projectiles. This short rifle handles extremely well. The center of gravity is very close to the trigger so the rifle is comfortable even when it is held one handed. The frizzen is a bit too soft, we'll need some hardening for sure, but with sharp stone it still gives enough sparks for a few shots. As it is not a wise decision to torture antique rifles with heavy charges, I decided to limit my load to 50 grains of Swiss number 3 powder measured by volume. My patching material was thick as my jeans and I used the good old fashioned way to lubricate them. This short rifle was a hunting arm for not more than 30-40 meters, so I started the offhand shooting to 25 meters. The recoil was manageable, and regardless of the tiny sights, it was not hard to take a good aim.
This short Jägerstützen is a bit too short for the current European hunting culture, but it is an important part in the history of hunting and firearms. With a tighter fitting ball and a better sight, it can be capable of some fine groups even at 50 meters. I can easily believe that it was a formidable weapon, and I am sure it could take a deer even today. I really hope you enjoyed my little time travel. You've been watching the Captain Boy YouTube channel and this is Balázs Német. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Thanks.